Okay, so I said the other day that I'd show you the other lightsaber that I got, and this one is called the Raven from Ultra Sabers. Now all Ultra Sabers come with uh, a blade, as standard. You can upgrade the blade and have a slightly different type of blade if you want to, but to be perfectly honest, the standard blade is perfectly suitable. Oh, and by the way, these Ultra Sabers are dueling sabers as well, although, to be perfectly honest, I I'm not into dueling, so, I won't be dueling with this. Plus the fact if you've got the Raven, anyone who knows who's got the Raven, you've got these long claws. So if you're battling with this one, you are gonna damage these claws. So it's not really advisable, at least on this particular model anyway. So um, this one, the only difference with the other one is that I've spec'd this uh, with uh, a twin LED inside here. So standard color on this one is red. And when you, clash the blade, it turns purple. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. Now bear in mind that I'm filming this on uh, just a camera phone, so I apologize for the quality. And normally with uh, bright lights, in particular reds on film, it may not show up accurately. So what I'll try and do is keep it close to my hands and my face, and you should be able to see the, the, the re reflection of the actual color. So we're looking for the red, and then when it clashes, uh, it turns purple. So let's take a look. And then when you clash. There's the illuminated LED switch. And these sabers also have a lock-up feature. So if you remember in the films where you had two lightsabers locked together and you get that kind of intermittent clash sound. So to activate that, you just press the button once. And then you get the sound effects of two blades clashing together. And as, of course, as you can see as well, the blade flickers between the red and the purple. can't really swing it around in this room because I just haven't got the space. It's quite a small room this is. But yeah, so there's the colour. And there's the purple flash on Clash. And to power down the lightsaber, all you have to do is just is basically hold the button down and then it powers down. Now you can probably see that this one is quite shiny and there's a reason for that because this, the standard standard version of this, it doesn't come like this. It's actually, these are, these are made from aluminium. So it comes with, with just standard finish aluminium, just a kind of a flat silver finish. What happened with this one is that when I purchased this from lightsabers, um, to be perfectly honest, it wasn't that great. It, it looked like it had been rolling around in a, a drawer for a, a few weeks or been to a, a few exhibitions and not been sold. It, it, it didn't look new. And I tried to get through to, to Ultra Sabers and well, yeah, okay, I could send it back, but then that would be at my own cost, even though this should have been spanking brand new. Um, I would have had to send it back, which would have been another 30, 40 pounds to send it back and then I would have had a look at it and try to clean it up or fix it, whatever. So in the end, um, I picked up um, a polishing cloth um, and I spent a few hours going over all the silver sections of this until it's literally mirror finished. So that's the reason why you can see that this virtually looks like a polished stainless steel effect. Sorry, let me just get camera lock again. So, so yeah, so mine is extremely shiny, but it's a nice lightsaber 
as I said in my other video, uh, Ultra Sabers are quite good value. Um, I had a few emails um, off the last um, video on the other one I did, and people were saying, well, they're not the best. I never said they were the best, I said they were the, they were the best value, but I'm sure there are other um, manufacturers out there who might do cheaper ones. If you want um, a good company that does really high-end light cybers, then you need to be looking towards Cyberforge, who do some beautiful light cybers, absolutely stunning light cybers. And, and they have extra features incorporated into those where you can open up the lightsabers and see all the mechanics inside the lightsabers as well. Uh, and to be fair, for, for, the, for, for the prices, considering it, it's more of a high-end lightsaber, the prices are not bad. So I definitely recommend having, having a look at Cyberforge. Um, here in the UK, we have uh, a company called HJQ Cybers, and they do some very high-end uh, light sabers as well in very limited numbers and um, but uh, similar kind of thing again you can get light sabers from them at a similar price as Cyber Forge but they also do very very high-end uh, light sabers and you can easily pay in the region of 1500 2000 pounds for a light saber off JQ sabers but if you check out JQ and Cyber Forge have a look on their website and see what you think but uh, today I've been quickly showing and reviewing the Raven from Ultra Cybers. Thanks guys.